good morning students today we are going to discuss about module number 1 that is introduction to power system protection here we are going to discuss about a topic called as types of faults so generally the types of faults are broadly classified into two types they are called as symmetrical faults and unsymmetrical faults so first of all here we are going to discuss about symmetrical faults what is meant by a symmetrical fault a symmetrical fault is simply called as a a three phase fault a three phase fault is called as a symmetrical type of fault where three phases are short circuited i mean in case of a three phase fault all the three phases are short circuited there are two situations how a three phase fault or how a three phases are short circuited the first thing is the all the three phases may be short circuited to the ground that is one kind of three phase symmetrical type of fault and another one is they may be short circuited without involving the ground so a short circuit may be takes place with involving to the ground or without involving to the ground so simply a three phase short circuit is generally called as a standard fault because most of the faults in transmission system it's because of short circuiting that lines so again again the short circuit faults here we can may here we can discuss like a symmetrical faults and asymmetrical faults symmetrical faults are simply called as the three phase faults and again three phase fault has been occurred with the ground or without to the ground therefore a simply three phase short circuit is generally treated as a standard fault next unsymmetrical faults so unsymmetrical faults again classified into various types they are single phase to single phase to ground fault two phase to ground fault next phase to phase short circuit fault and single phase open circuit fault and two phase open circuit fault the above five types of these faults are called as unsymmetrical faults therefore the unsymmetrical faults are generally classified as five types they are called as single phase to ground fault two phase to ground fault phase to phase short circuits single phase open circuit two phase open circuit so let us discuss about the first class of the unsymmetrical type of the fault which is called as single phase to ground fault that is called as lg fault therefore a short circuit between any one of the phase conductors and earth is called as a single phase to ground fault it may be due to the failure of the insulation between a phase conductor and the earth or due to the phase conductor breaking and falling to the ground so as we know that very clear so our transmission system is exposed to the atmosphere due to that any human inter human intervention actions or due to that any lightning strokes if one of the conductor of a three phase three line transmission system of a three phase four line transmission system it may be break down and the conductor fall on the ground there exists that a fault which is called as a single phase to ground fault that is called as a lg fault so during this lg fault the conductor fall on the earth that may be due to the breaking of the conductor or breakdown of the insulator or due to that any earthquakes if any one of the transmission pole which may be fall on the ground so there may be chance for getting that breakdown of the conductor from any one of the reason but if a conductor which break down between the two successive poles and if it touches that earth one conductor break down and touches the conductor hence it is called as a single phase to ground fault which is called as an lg fault next type the next type of the fault is called as two phase to ground fault two phase to ground fault which is called as 2 lg fault what is meant by 2 lg fault a short circuit which is takes place 
between any two faces and the earth is called as a double line to ground fault or two phase to ground fault for suppose if a short circuit which has been takes place between the two conductors hence is a hence it is called as a 2l fault that is line to line fault ll fault line to line and again it also takes place along with the ground hence it's, hence it is called as a double lg fault a double lg fault is also called as 2lg fault therefore a double lg fault may be takes place with the population of the two conductors on a three phase three wire transmission or a three phase four wire transmission system if the two conductors along with the ground if there exists that any short circuit hence it is called as a two phase to ground fault next one phase to phase fault what is meant by phase to phase fault a phase to phase fault is nothing but a short circuit between any two phases is called as a line to line or phase to phase fault so line to line that may be that means that a short circuit happen between any two lines like that there is a chance for getting the population in case of a three phase three wire transmission three phase four wire transmission system like double l fault triple l fault so double l faults and triple l faults are called as phase to phase faults next one the next fault is called as open circuited phases fault what is meant by open circuited phases fault an open circuited phases fault is caused by break in the conducting path for suppose if i am going to take two successive poles for example a spin type insulator which has been takes place from here to here if a conductor which is stretch if the conductor path has been break down at any one of the place then immediately the conductor which is not touching the ground but the two conductors are the conductor which was break down between the two successive phases there is no any flow of currents but there exists that uh, maximum voltage between the two conductors and the two conductors may be open circuited hence the fault is called as a open circuited phases fault so this fault is because of breakdown breakdown of the conducting path this kind of fault occurs when one or more phase conductors break or a cable joint or a joint on the overhead lines fails for suppose between the two successive poles a conductor which was stretched out with respect with respect to the insulators on the two conductive and the two successive poles for suppose if an insulator which was break down at any one of the successive pole and the conductor which does not touches any ground and it is not touches that any other phase line hence it is called as a open circuit phase fault in case of open circuit phase fault where the current is zero and the voltage is maximum such kind of situations it may be rises either when circuit breakers or isolators which was open but failed to close like one or more phases due to the opening of one or two phases unbalanced currents may flow in the system thereby heating the rotating machines protective schemes must be provided to deal with such kind of abnormal con situations or conditions otherwise there may be a lot of damage to the system next type of the fault is called as winding fault so all the type of faults which was discussed above also occur on the alternator or the motor or the transformer winding if any one of the winding which may be get damage hence there exists a fault which is called as winding fault in case of winding fault if there exists that open circuit the current flowing through that wind is particularly zero and the voltage is maximum for example if there exists that short circuit in any one of the winding due to the flow of high current the winding may get damage hence the fault is called as a winding fault so this kind of faults generally occur like alternators motors and transformers where a huge winding has been takes place either star or delta connected one in addition to this type of fault there is one more type of fault namely called as short circuiting of turns which occurs on machine windings because in machine winding there exists a short circuit it because of uh by increasing that uh, more number of uh, 
by increasing that current which is flowing through that number of turns it because of short circuit or it because of overloading thank you